Alex Skeel is lucky to be alive. The 22-year-old from Stuart B in Bedfordshire went through months of domestic abuse. Jordan Worth, his former girlfriend, took control of his life. It started off with just a glass bottle and then it went to a hammer. But every time I got rid of one weapon, another one would come. So it went to wardrobe poles, to bits of wardrobe, and then it went to a football pole that was snapped in half and she was stabbing me with ends. Then it went to knives and then boiling water thrown over me. I didn't know what to do because I knew I weren't going to get some sort of help because she didn't want to expose what had happened. So. Jordan and Alex were both 16 when they met at college in June 2012. Jordan began telling Alex what to wear and stopping contact with friends and family. The physical abuse started two months after they moved in together. One attack almost killed him. Running away and she managed to hit me with the knife but it caught my knuckle and I immediately looked and it was very open and I weren't really sure and then I realised I couldn't move my fingers. They were literally, it was like an elastic band has been snapped. So that isn't right. She, But then a couple of days later, from my memory, she stabbed me there, covered my face, and it went really, you could see the bone, and if you put it in front of a tap, you wouldn't have known whether it was water or blood if it was the same colour. It was coming out that fast. Doctors told Alex if the wound had been a couple of centimetres further in, he could have bled to death. The abuse finally came to an end one evening last June when neighbours heard shouts coming from the couple's home and called police. PC Ed Finn was the officer who spoke to Alex. He sort of said, we'll take, you take me to A&E, she goes back to her parents' house. But he got me in the car locked me in the police car and said, you're going to tell me. And I said, it's me. And then he, he turned it, I remember he turned his dash cam off and he goes, now you're going to tell me. And I eventually told him and he said, right, let's sort this out then. And then I've never looked back since. So. Jordan pleaded guilty to grievous bodily harm and coercive controlling behaviour. She was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison. Bedfordshire police believe it's the UK's first conviction for coercive control involving a female offender. For male victims of domestic abuse, they often find it even harder because of the stigma that they think is attached to this. We would obviously want to encourage anybody who is a victim of domestic abuse, male or female, to come forward and speak to us. And I think this case highlights that we will listen that we will take any allegation seriously and all victims of domestic abuse, we will support them. Alex now hopes his story will empower others to speak out. Liz Summers, ITV News.